I saw those windows move. You shouldn't have had that last drink. Go ahead, open it. Well, come on, let's get him out of here. It's locked. Guess we'll have to take the whole box. You take that other end. such a thing. Your foot must have slipped. Look, do I have to carry this thing myself? Come on, I'm freezing. to me. Why, it's as simple as a straight life insurance policy. You know what? Oh, what's that, my father? Oh. 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 Yeah. Wait. 
Gelman. Sure, it was Gelman. He knew I wouldn't leave you here all alone, so he cooked up that scheme just to get me out of the way. He even made me get in that coffin. Then after he and his accomplices had got me out of the way, he thought he'd have a clear field. But let me tell you... Uh-oh. Oh. What are you doing? I want to see if they had time to steal the body while I was drowning. You mean the body's in there? Yeah, it's still it. Ow! It's Gelman. Both of us gone and he's in there dead. Mother. Well, I don't think he, he'd exactly hang himself on a coat hook to commit suicide. Or would he? Oh, don't leave me. Hello. Hello. Mr. Gelman. Dead. This is dead, too. There, there, there. Now, now, don't get scared. Oh, but I am scared, Albert. Aren't you? Who, me? I've been scared since 8.30. What are we going to do? There's a murderer in this house. Three of them. Any one of us might be next. Not if we catch them first. How? I'll show them. I'm through being pushed around. I've been bop, clopped, and clunked. I'll show them that they can't drown Albert Tuttle and get away with it. I'll call them all down here, and, and we'll grill them. Grill. That reminds me. I'm hungry. Me too. I think we ought to... We ought to fry this and eat it. Oh, Albert, what about the murderers? Let them catch their own fish. I made a joke. Yes. Poor Mr. Gelman. Why would anyone want to kill him? Never mind that. Then what? Well, then we came back here, and we went to the closet, and there he was. Dead. What about my uncle? Where is he? We'd better find a body before it's buried. How can you be so cold-blooded? A man's been murdered, and all you can think about is your inheritance. Whoever stole the body was thinking about it, too. That same person murdered Gelman. There were three of them. I saw them. You saw them? Why didn't you say so? Who were they? It was dark. I couldn't tell. You couldn't tell? Merkel. Yes, sir? Do you always sleep fully clothed? Uh, no, sir. And what are you doing dressed at this hour of the night? I was waiting for the next occurrence. Oh, then you knew something was going to happen. Well, didn't it? Having already been aroused once before, I thought it would save time if I remained in my room on call. Is that how the mud got on your shoes? Waiting in the room? I stepped out to let the cat in out of the rain. What rain? What rain? Falling down, sir. What is the trouble? I heard the commotion. Where were you, Professor? Watching Venus under the rain. Mr. Gelman has been murdered. Well, you're not surprised. Surprised? No. Not even at murder? No such a thing. Or ordained. Mr. Gelman in the shadow. An unlucky star. Very unlucky. Well, if the stars can tell you all that, perhaps they can also tell you who killed him. No. I am a scientist, Mr. Turtle. It's Tuttle. Not a detective. I can tell you this, though. Do not make too many plans for a birthday party yourself. You are under the influence of a very precarious star. Very precarious, Mr. Tittle. It's Tuttle. My car is outside. I'm going to the police. You'll never get there. Why not? I'm begging your pardon, sir. The bridge over the creek was washed out. I saw it from the tower. No one can get in or out. Then I'll walk. Suit yourself, sir. But the nearest telephone would be about ten miles in the rain. By the way, 